And so we'll go back to the drawing board. We'll see that our we see that our camera is actually acting kind of weird. So first thing is that our project is a little too big. So we're going to actually make it smaller. And so instead of having it at 0.3, we'll have it at 0.1. And we'll bring it down. Like so. Just make it a little bit more manageable in terms of size. And then we'll actually take our directional light. Instead of it being under, we'll have it be always in front, like that. And we'll actually set the directional light up in the ground plane so that it stays consistent. What we could actually do is we could actually duplicate the directional light. And we could create a directional light to the side. And we could rotate it. And this one, we could actually have the strength of it be a little lighter, a little lower. We'll have the strength of this slide as well be a little lighter in terms of the the shadows that we have on it intensity we could make it probably a fraction of that so instead of having one we could have 0.5 or 0.6 and again we'll oh, we'll have this in we'll have this one at one as well and then the intensity will actually duplicate this by right clicking double click and we will make this one We'll move this over to the side, the other side. And instead of it being negative 126, we'll have this at positive 126. And so now when we're looking at this, we have a decent setup. We have three lights with our gizmos. We have three lights and a setup. And it's a little smaller. So we'll go to save. We'll go to save project. And we will test it again. So now, again, we have the cursor showing up. We click the screen. And it creates an augmented reality experience like that. 